Hey guys, uh, don't mind my computer's camera quality, it's pretty shitty, but, um, today's video has been three weeks old now, and I just been busy, I haven't been able to get around to doing it, but, um, it's over a course of a couple of days, um, it's just, I didn't get anything done I wanted to do, like I wanted to put the red in the Corolla, I did not get to it, and then I ended up um, doing something in Leah's car, and fixing the Jetta finally, um, which currently is back to not running. Um, I got it running again, and then that week, at the end of the week, which was the Friday, the Friday, I got that fixed, so I fixed it on the weekend, and then Monday came, and I was driving to work, and then Friday, um, transmission blew up completely. Uh, I don't have fourth, I don't have fifth, I already didn't have third, and there is no reverse. So the car is basically useless right now. So I'm on the works of looking for a um, transfer that, and then probably going to sell it. So we'll see what happens, but let's carry on with the video. Thank you.
tires are almost annihilated, like completely gone. So, but I'm off to go pick up those parts and then uh, I'll get back with you in a minute. Alrighty, so uh, after going and picking up the parts, ignition coils and spark plugs, I also had to go back and find my wallet after I left it on my roof and took off and found it about eight minutes away from where I was. So, excuse me, I can go and finally get cracking on the Jetta. So, I got a tire that needs to be replaced. The bead probably needs to be cleaned or something. Or there are two piece of wheels and it could be leaking. I don't know. But let's get in and pop this hood. Alrighty. Ding, ding. This is nice. It is a pretty good idea. And if you look at these, you can see that the boots are pretty torn and this one goes down all the way and the rest are all really high up. This one's an OEM one. This one's a Denso. This is a Delphi. I think this one's a different kind of Delphi as well. So, definitely botched. There's some NGK there's an NGK spark plug in here somewhere. There is a Audi Volkswagen one in here. And then there's a newer Audi Volkswagen one in here. And then there's another, I guess it's an OEM one. And then also the one is has a lot of build up on it to where it doesn't even look like it's a um, Iridium one. So I I don't I don't know. So hopefully by the looks of it should fix it. All right, so really all you need is a 58 spark plug socket, ratchet, wrench, and um, an Allen key. I don't know what happened to the Allen keys I was using, so I'm gonna use the torque, torque bits, find out which one fits, and hopefully be able to get this freaking cover off. This one's doing it. Which is stupid in my opinion. I don't know why we have these. Done. Just the one. I have one there right now. So we should be able to get that off. No problemo. Get this extension. I can actually fit my hand in there. Always said I hated Volkswagen. Honestly, I still do. This car is fun, but that's because it's a boosted car. Not because it's a Volkswagen. Alright, so we got that off. Get that up there. So if we look. We got. See, this one's short. No name. That one's a Delphi. That's a Denso. That's an OEM. I don't know what this kid was thinking, but. It's my problem now. So. Let's start getting those off quick without the GoPro falling over it'd be cool and then uh, so you just these connectors you can just pinch them and they'll come off now one connector the little pinch piece is actually broken so it kind of just pulls right off and then all these injectors they just pull right out so that's an OEM one That's a Denso. That's a Delphi. And then, this one doesn't have a name on it. And it's bent, sorry. And it's bent. So, I, I don't, I don't know. 
So let's grab the parts. Oh, I think the one is an NGK. I think. Could be wrong. But we do have some NGKs. And look at that. Nice and crisp, fresh coil pack. It doesn't look like it's been through a war and back. NGK, not bent, and it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna get all these spark plugs out and get it all back together and then come back to you guys for a test fire and see what happens. Alrighty guys, so we have all the injectors, I mean, not injectors, all the coil packs installed back in there. The fuzzy. Let's see. There we go. But we got all the ignition coils back in. Um, coil packs. Uh, all the new, pretty um, spark plugs. Look at these ones. Ugh. We definitely need to do some valve cover seals in there. Um, they're obviously leaking. The spark plugs are covered in oil, but so. Let's get in there, let's pick up the keys, and give this thing a test fire and see what happens. Make sure she's in neutral. She's back, boys. Good as new again. <laughs> At least we fixed one thing around here. It doesn't sound like shit. Besides that exhaust leak, that does sound like shit. Can you hear it like that? Well, the manifold. There's a little bolt right there I see wiggling around. So. I'm not firing no more. Yeah, I hooked up uh, a better face cam that I have. Um, it's actually a little too good. Beep, beep. It's a little better. Um, so as you can see, that the Volkswagen was not running, and we and well, I got it running again. Um, but I did have to cut that video short. I had. Um, something else to go along with it, but it was kind of boring, made it very long, and uh, just didn't want to put that out there. I want to put out some good content. I mean, the content that I just completed editing and setting up and getting ready to upload is better than nothing, is better than what I could have put out, but I'm trying to put out some good things instead of only what I can get. So if I take too long to put something out it's because I am probably not happy with it and I'm looking to put out better content and make things better I'm going to better myself for things so um, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe some RC cars stuff like that um, I have a new body coming for uh if you look right there, there's a mirror behind me, which is reflecting to what's right here next to me, to my right. That is a RC Drift car. Um, I have a new body for it that currently has a um, Evo 9 bat body on it, but it's annihilated from being drifted around and it's crashing into things. I have a new Corolla body coming for it, but it's an older Corolla, but a new body for it coming that I'm going to customize. And then uh, start driving that around and having fun with it on the free time. Maybe make a video of making it. So, got light buckets and all kinds of stuff. So, but I want to try and make it the same scheme that I want my car to be. 
like color scheme and whatnot. So, um, so that's something that should be coming up soon. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm trying to put out there, what I'm just put out there, and uh, um, I hope you guys stick around. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm s again, I'm sorry that it took so long to get to that. I've just been very busy. And like I said, the Jetta is broken again. Um, I need a transmission. That might be something. I don't know. I might just junk it. I have no idea yet. So, um, here. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. And I will see you guys in the next one.